2022 students uh, we have discussed up to electron configuration in most of the classes uh, but i think uh, one or two groups i could not complete the electron configuration so in this video first part we will mainly focus on the structure of the atom, modern structure of the atom. After that, we'll explain the rules which are used to write the electron configuration of ground state atoms. Then, from the next video, we are discussing about the periodic table and periodic properties. If I just uh, summarize the structure of the atom or the electron configuration or electronic structure of the atom according to the modern atomic theory which we accept up to now. The electrons in atoms are arranged in energy levels. We can say main energy levels or principal energy levels. Those principal energy levels I will represent using a simple diagram. Let's consider these are the energy levels around the nucleus in which electrons are arranged. These can be numbered like 1, 2, 3, 4, like that using Arabic numerals. Or I can number these energy levels. using the letters K, L, N, N, etc. So this represents four energy levels in the atom. Now this is something like this in the nucleus. If you represent the nucleus like this, then first energy level around the nucleus, second energy level around the nucleus, third energy level, fourth energy level, like that. So these energy levels I have represented here. Now energies of these energy levels in fact increases when moving across, when moving further from the nucleus. I can say energy increases. But the gap between two energy levels rapidly decreases when moving further from the nucleus. Now, these energy levels actually they have no physical meaning. These are energy states. That means if the nucleus is here, with a particular radius from the nucleus, you have one energy state, which is denoted by the first energy level. With another radius, we have another energy state. So these are energy states. We just draw a line to represent that energy state with respect to the nucleus. Now, electrons in these energy levels, they are further divided into sub-energy levels. I can write. Sub-energy levels. The number of sub-energy levels present in a given main energy level is same as the number of that particular main energy level, right? So first main energy level, you have one sub-energy level. 
Second main energy level, there are two sub energy levels. Third main energy level, three sub energy levels. Fourth main energy level, four sub energy levels. I'll try to represent these sub energy levels. Now, here we can say one. Fourth main energy level, there are four sub energy levels. Now, main electrons in atoms around the nucleus, they are arranged in main energy levels. As I explained earlier, main energy levels can be numbered using Arabic numerals like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Or they can be numbered using capital letters starting from K, K, L, M, N etc. And these electrons in main energy levels are further divided into sub energy levels. That means uh, within the main energy level those electrons will have a slightly different energy level, energy states or energies. So those electrons themselves have different energies. Accordingly they are divided to sub levels. So first main energy level one sub level, second main energy level two sub levels. Third main energy level, three sub energy levels, fourth main energy level, four sub energy levels. A sub energy level is defined as a set of orbitals or a combination of or set of one or more orbitals. An orbital is in fact defined as a region around the nucleus in the three-dimensional space where probability of finding of an electron is very high. An orbital, atomic orbital is a region around the nucleus in the atom in the three-dimensional space where the probability of finding of an electron is high. A particular sub-energy level has one or more orbitals of the same type. For example, a sub-energy level has one s orbital, p sub-energy level has three p orbitals, d sub-energy level has five d orbitals, like that. So that sub-energy level is named or labeled from that particular letter because of the type of the orbital. The type of the orbital is given like s p d f based on the shape of the electron distribution around the nucleus based on the shape of that region we give different names for the orbital based on that orbital the sub energy level is labeled so first main energy level that sub energy level is called S sub energy level that is given the name S because it has one S orbital. Second main energy level, two sub levels I explained earlier S and P. S sub energy level has S orbitals, one S orbital, P sub energy level it has three P orbitals. Third main energy level, three sub energy level, they are labeled as S, P, and D. S sub energy level has one S orbital, P sub energy level three P orbitals, B sub energy level five D orbitals. So D sub energy level means the collection of five D orbitals. An orbital is a region around the nucleus in the three dimensional space where probability of finding of an electron is very high. Here in this diagram, I am just explaining the structure. Then I will explain how these things have been derived. So this is the outcome of all the hard work done by different scientists and with the help of uh, the Schrodinger wave equation. Then fourth main energy level, four sub energy levels, S, P, D and F. S sub energy level 1 S orbital, P sub energy level 3 P orbitals. 
B sub energy level 5 D orbitals and F sub energy level 7 F orbitals 7 orbitals there each atomic orbital can accommodate for two electrons that means maximum two electrons can exist in a particular atomic orbital accordingly we can find what is the maximum number of electrons that can be present in a particular main energy level now first main energy level only one sub level and it contains one orbital that is s orbital so maximum number of electrons that can be present in a particular orbital is two therefore two into one two electrons yeah so first main energy level only two electrons in all levels also we have written these configurations assigning electrons for the main energy levels only so you started from two we have written like two eight like that the second main energy level S and P S one orbital P three orbitals so one into two plus three into two six eight electrons. Now third main energy level. Now uh, this is going to be different from the things you have learned in all levels. Actually, you stop from the first twenty elements. That's why you could not understand that further. But third main energy level S P and B. P sub energy levels on S orbital, 3 P orbitals, 5 D orbitals. So here 1 into 2 electrons, 3 into 2, 6 electrons, 5 into 2, 10 electrons, or to 18 electrons. So capacity of the third main energy level, or in other words, the number of maximum number of electrons that the third energy level can keep is 18. That's a simple idea, right? Uh, then fourth main energy level, four sub levels. First one is one orbital, P three orbitals, B five orbitals, F seven orbitals. So here one into two, two electrons, three into two, six electrons, five into two, ten electrons, seven into two, fourteen electrons, altogether thirty-two electrons. So when it goes to fifth energy level, like this, we can consider five sub-energy levels but later you can understand that the fifth sub-energy level does not actually uh, we can say exist or that is known as a forbidden level because electrons never fill or never move into, go into that particular sub-energy level so this is that if sub-level is the one uh, where maximum number of electrons would be there after the sub energy level, uh, no electrons are added to any other sub level, therefore, those are considered as forbidden levels. All these main energy levels, sub energy levels, atomic orbitals regarding a particular electron have been derived by solving the Schrodinger wave equation. In other words, all these things have been mathematically derived. I will explain few details about the Schrodinger wave equation and more details regarding the quantum numbers in the next video.